Hey guys, I'm Steve Harrison from Liberty Lodge 31 in beautiful downtown Liberty, Missouri, with this episode of the Masonic Curators. Robert Johnson has shown two episodes featuring a postcard identical to this one, which shows the Chicago Masonic Temple. Here's episode three. I found this in my grandfather Cord's postcard collection. He wrote it in January 1909 to his brother, Calvin. Even with this close-up, the writing is hard to read, but we have determined this is what it says. Brother Cal will leave city at 9.50 a.m. for home. Not so cold as yesterday. It was awful. Odd building, this tower here. This zero weather is... Capital H and a line. I think we can all interpret what that means. Yours, Cord. There are a couple of mysteries with this card that may never be solved. First, it's addressed to Jonathan C. Harrison. Calvin was his middle name in San Antonio with no street address. That's not too odd. The post office would actually try to make deliveries addressed like that back then. But you'll notice the card was never sent. No stamp, no postmark. Well, we know from his gravestone Calvin died in 1909. Perhaps Cord learned Cal had taken ill or passed and just didn't send it. Or maybe he just let it slip and Cal died later in the year. We just don't know at this point. But our big mystery in the family is this. Was Cord a Freemason? In the area where he lived, he would have been a member of one of two lodges. The first lodge has extensive records showing Cord's father, John, my great-grandfather, was an active member. The Grand Lodge of Indiana has no record Cord was a member. The other lodge he may have been a member of has not responded to my inquiries. That one may have burned down at some point and his records lost. Yet we have a picture of Cord wearing what may be a Masonic pin. All I can say is We'll keep trying. Let's say he wasn't a Freemason. That's kind of the way things look now. That being the case, Cord may just have been there to see what at the time was one of the world's tallest buildings. It was built to last a hundred years, but torn down after only 47. When it was built... The logistics of tall buildings were not understood. The building's elevators proved inadequate for the throngs of crowds moving to and from the top floors, where, of course, all the attractions were. It soon fell out of favor as a social venue due to the long, frustrating wait to get to the top and then, of course, to get back down afterwards. The crowds had gone elsewhere, so when Chicago started building a subway under it, the temple would have required expensive upgrades. So rather than spend the money, they tore it down in 1939. Just think, had it lasted that 100 years, many of us might have been able to see it. For the Masonic curators, I'm Steve Harrison. Thanks for watching.